best cryptocurrency exchanges for trading and investing welcome back guys it's crypto rocco from rockstar trading channel and in today's video guys i'll be sharing with you the best exchanges to use uh, for investing and trading in cryptocurrency from fees point of view the cheapest fees also from from the safest point of view and the overall user interface overall performance of the exchange so i'll be sharing with you the best exchanges to use and at the end of the video i'll be sharing with you the three exchanges i use and i'll give you a tip to stay safe out there in the crazy world the cryptocurrency so make sure you stay till the end of the video and also guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you haven't so guys the news that kicked off uh, this video is i've had a few messages from people saying um Coinbase are increasing their prices. Obviously, Binance are closing their to the US customers and they're opening Binance US. So there's a few things that are going on. So that's the main reason people have been asking me which exchanges to use. So in this video, I want to explain to you that. So I find it really surprising that Coinbase is increasing their fees, whereas in the stock market they're cutting their fees to zero. So there's a battle to zero trading fees. Uh, trading fees. Robinhood used to be the first one. Now the big ones: Charles Schwab, uh, Interactive Brokers, TD Ameritrade, E Trade. All of them are cutting to zero trading fees. I I personally use Interactive Brokers. They're also bringing in IBKR Lite or something. It's called um, IBKR Lite, which is zero commission fee and it's really interesting times if you guys are aware i used to trade stocks that's how i got started years ago and i don't really trade stocks anymore i mainly trade forex and crypto but this interests me i mean there's going to be a lot of people coming into trade stocks and maybe i can out trade them and take their money so that's really interesting in the stock market and i'm going to keep a very close eye with what's going on in the stock market now and it's going to be interesting interesting times for the fintech and exchanges in industry and i hope in the future we see a crypto exchange that has zero trading commission fees because if you're trading day trading we spend a lot of money paying exchanges so it'd be great to have exchanges with zero trading fees and um, i i pay uh, that one of my biggest expenses in in life is trading is for a trader not me is ex uh, trading fees so uh, I, I want to I want the least commissions um, uh, fees as possible so what they've done is uh, before all accounts trading under 100k uh, uh, were charged not 0.25 percent takers and not 0.15 five percent makers fees now if your trading uh, volume is less than 10k your maker fee will be half a percent and your taker fee will be half a percent so it's more than doubling it's doubling uh, the fees you used to pay before so it's very bad amount if you're a small trader and um, it's not really great and they're being greedy i think you can see you know people are commenting well that sucks for the little guy why would you increase prices during time where everything is going down i'll guess i'll use coinbase even less another price hike as others mentioned kraken and binance not 0.1 not 0.16 percent what is the motive behind coinbase so it's not really great news so that's sort of the news section done in this video the next thing is which ones i i use so i i'll still be using coinbase and i'm not saying that because i'm saying that this is the amount i trade it's still going to affect me but uh, again i don't want to disclose that information but I'll, I'll still be using coinbase because coinbase is the the most safest it's reliable it's is it's, it's following the u.s regulatory regulations and there's apparently um, i'm not sure but there's insurance on coinbase that if they if they lose your funds you'll get paid up which is great because you've i'm sure you've heard of exchanges in cryptocurrency going bust so that's why um, i'll still be using coinbase but i'll probably move some of my day trading funds into binance so what i'm going to do is i'm still keeping an eye on link if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel you guys are aware that my link calls have worked great it has a massive breakout i've sold mine um my trading ones and um, i'm still in some I sold mine in this consolidation, so I'm watching it. Apologies, I'm getting distracted. But if you're interested in how I'm doing this, I've got a full live trading course. I provide signals. You can still join. I've got one tier still open. If you're interested, you can check it out and join. I've got a full educational course there. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button to not miss another video. So that's what I said. So I will still be using Coinbase for mainly swing trading positions. So I made uh, Bitcoin trades, uh, longer term trades. I will still be using Coinbase for swing trades and I'll keep most of my money on on um, on Coinbase. But I will for day trading. I'll move. I'll try uh, Bitcoin trading Bitcoin against Tether on on binance i don't really like tether so i don't want to have a lot of tether so that's the main reason i don't trade uh, uh, 
tether with Binance as much but I will be keeping an eye out and see what the volume is and I look to day trade that maybe on on Binance the main one that I use is BitMEX so BitMEX is the one that I'll be using a lot more of uh, they've got different set of fees again there's funding fees trading fees and deposit withdrawal fees I might make a video just specifically on BitMEX uh, to give you an overall view on how to use BitMEX and BitMEX is a crazy exchange as well they've got crazy stop runs but this is an exchange that has volume so that's kind of the exchanges updates and um, two other exchanges I'd mentioned uh, KuCoin I've used KuCoin briefly not as much and Kraken I've not personally used Kraken but I know people that use it and I've heard good things about it I used to use Poloniex I'm not sure if they're any good still but those are some of the other exchanges so that's kind of updates on exchanges and fees the next thing is what are the exchanges I recommend again I don't, I don't, I'm not saying you should just use the exchanges I'm telling you please do your own research so three exchanges like I said I'll be using Coinbase to Coinbase I have most of my money in Coinbase for longer term positions and I'll still be doing that but for the fees exchanges I'll probably trade less on Coinbase for trading old coins I'll be still be using Binance so link I'm trading it on Binance and I'll still be doing uh, using Binance for old coins if you're a US customer maybe look at KuCoin or Kraken uh, for trading old coins those are two exchanges and uh, for my bigger old coin trades so bitcoin cash cardano xrp uh, i'll be using ethereum litecoin i'll be using bitmex and for my scalping i'll be using bitmex so that's my quick update and this much change i'll keep you guys up to date so make sure you subscribe and turn on the notification button i'll keep you guys up to date if i change my thoughts because cryptocurrency market is changing all the time and and i'm kind of again i like to think i'm honest and transparent i've had people approach me exchanges called buy bit and exchanges i've never heard of where people tell me can you promote it and i'm not sounding big headed that i've got i've only got a small youtube channel but people approach me saying could you recommend your subscribers to use our exchanges we'll give you a money of the deposit that you pay into that exchange and i'll give you good i think 50 percent of the fees that you spend on that exchange which is crazy money but if it's an exchange i can't trust i won't uh, i won't tell you guys to use it so i'm sharing with you the exchanges i use i'll leave all the links below if you're interested in bitmex binance and coinbase but please do your own research before investing and the best tip I want, I'll end this video on is do not leave all your money in one exchange. Share it out between different exchanges. And the best one is cold storage. So I use cold storage for some Bitcoin that I'll never sell. I'll write it to 100k or zero. And I'm that much bullish in Bitcoin. And again, that might be a stupid decision. But I've got some Bitcoin in cold storage. But then, and I've got spread it out with Coinbase, BitMEX, Binance. And I recommend you do, do that as well. Because we don't know these exchanges. These exchanges might go bust we don't know the regulations and insurance so you want to protect your money so make sure they're spread out in different exchanges and if one does go bust you've got another exchange i think hit btc was one exchange that I think uh, I had trouble getting my money out, so I don't recommend them. Then there's other exchanges. Again, I don't, I don't want to go too much into it. But if you spread your money across, then hopefully uh, one will be good. And the ones that I'm recommending or not recommending, the ones that I'm talking about, um, Coinbase especially, you can do their research and Binance and Bitmex uh, from few the past few years they have been good with good with customer service as well with bitmex they have been a bit cheeky with stop runs but when i trade on scalp on bitmex i literally have to be consumed i can't post in the educational group or youtube or twitter i literally have to put my head down so thank you very much i hope you guys enjoyed that video my question to you guys is what are your favorite exchanges comment below your favorite exchange if you have any any questions any exchange that you think i've not covered comment below and let's have a discussion so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video also guys if you want to check more stuff out make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button if you want a full trading course and um, how i trade exact trading course and also live updates on coins that i'm looking at trade signals uh, you can check this uh, group out guys i'll leave the links below so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much